Okay guys, so in today's video we're going to be making candle wax. Now there's a couple things that you're going to need for this. The first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a bag of soy wax, some uh, color squares, I got the black ones because uh, we're making Dr. Pepper style, and uh, you're going to need some wick. Now you can get the uh, basis for the wick if you want, and that will help glue it to the bottom of whatever you're putting your candle into, but I think I know a way to do it without doing that. But I guess we'll find out as we go along. Anyways guys, we're going to go ahead and get started by gluing the wick to the bottom of that dark pepper bottle. Okay guys, so you're going to be gluing the wick to the bottom of this uh, bottle. So I just went out and picked up this long strand of wick here. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty long, but uh, I'm going to be making several of these, so I think it should work out fine. Um, next thing that you're going to need is a glue gun, or some type of way of adhering it to the bottom of this bottle. And uh, you may need a stick or something to uh, make it actually hit the bottom, but I'm going to try weighing it down with the glue and going from there. Ooh, that's hot. That felt good. Anyway, okay, so I was having trouble getting the wick to stick to the bottom of the Dr. Pepper bottle, but what I did was I took and I attached a nut to it, and I dropped it down there, and then I pushed it down with this thing right here that I made. It's, it's a little duct tape and two pencils put together. So uh, hopefully this will hold it in place long enough for the wax to set. Alright, so now we're going to go in there and we're going to melt down our wax. Alright, so the way that I'm going to be melting down this wax is I'm going to be using a double boiler method. We're going to be doing water down here in this pot, and then the wax in this pot. You don't need a whole lot of water, just about. Not that much will do. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how many of these we're supposed to use for the color squares, but uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna fill up the pot to as much as I think it needs. I don't, I don't know the exact amount. Alright, I don't really know how much that's gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little bit more than that, and if we end up having extra, we'll just uh we'll go with the float. So I have the double boiler going, and uh, I put our little black chip in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a spoon and mix this up until it comes to a uh, until it becomes clear, and I'll show you when it becomes clear. Okay, so now that you can see, I don't know. I already added my dye, so it's already black. You can probably see that it's melted down completely. Now the only, the way that I've been the way that I was thinking about doing this was uh, putting a funnel onto the thing and doing it like that. I don't know that's going to be the best method because of the fact that uh, the funnel will then become wax filled. So what I've decided to do instead is I'm going to be breaking this cup right here from Mario's or something somewhere like that. It doesn't really matter where. Like I said, this does take hours to harden, so you don't have to do this super fast. But uh, all right, so I attached dimes to these. Let's see if I can get you. I suck at this whole getting in the shot thing. Okay, there you go. I attached dimes to these because I found that it was easier, and they fit right down inside of it, nice and snug. Well, it's like the glue is actually still drying from from this one. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I found that attaching dimes to these works really well. Uh, and then you can just drop it down and just set it in the middle. You don't have to glue it, okay? Everyone told me that I had to glue it to the bottom. You don't. Okay? Here's an experiment I did right here where I put a little bit of wax in the bottom. And I had a... Uh, well, it still moves around because it's not... Because there's not wax all the way to the top. But uh, as you can see, it's it's in there good. I mean, it's not going anywhere. That's actually a pencil eraser. And so... Pretty much anything will work. I mean, you don't have to use those things they sell in the store. So, I'm just saying, like, if you're stuck, like, okay, let's say your power go out and you need candles, you can do this on a stove. You know, use a double boiler method on a, on a little camp stove or something, and this will work the exact same way. So, you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and put the other wicks in these, and this one's obnoxiously long, I know, but... Okay, for some reason, it doesn't want to fit in this one in particular. I don't know what's going on with it. Let's just... That's the speaker. Why did I do that? 
Okay, see, it fits in the it fits in the other ones. It just does not want to fit in this one. All right, there we go. The two Dr. Peppers are filled up. I actually didn't have as much wax as I thought I did. So I don't have enough to finish this Coca-Cola one. But I am going to go ahead and fill up the rest of it with what I have. But, like I said, I don't have enough to finish it. All right, so it's been a couple hours since I let these set, and one of them has dried. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Got the wick hanging out of the top here. And, uh, yeah, I'm holding it by the string. It's not going anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this extra string, and I'm going to go ahead and light it. This one here is not completely done yet, so uh, we're going to let it sit a little longer. Okay, guys, so the candles don't light. I tried everything uh, in the book, matches, uh, lighters, you know, whatever you can think of. I even tried putting a piece of paper down in there. And uh, because there's not enough air in it, it will not, it will not light. So, uh, or stay lit. So, uh, basically, guys, they're just good as a decoration. It's a very nice decorative candle, I think. Uh, it's very rustic looking. Uh, I really do like it as a candle. Um, or as a decoration, I mean. But, uh, yeah, guys, if you did like this video, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more. See you guys next time. Bye.